Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today I'm going to do my men's gift guide. And I have been working on this for probably about two weeks, asking, I asked like my brother, my dad, my mom, John, and I've actually got a few questions that Brooke is gonna find out for me, like the best selling, she works at Ulta, if you don't know, I'm gonna find out the best selling man's fragrance the best-selling man's skincare, and the best-selling men's hair care. Because I know there's like Jack Black and there's like some different things, and Brooke and I have talked about this before. She's been surprised about how many men come in there. Hey, baby. How many men come in there and get things like that. And I know, like my dad has a beard, and I know he likes nice things. You know, they want to make their beard clean, smell good, soft, and all that kind of stuff. So that is something I'm gonna have down below. And I'm not gonna worry about showing you every little thing because I've got quite a list here. I am actually gonna link below last year's gift guide. Anyway, you may see some stuff in there too. And sorry if I repeat a few things, but some things I think are just worth repeating. Okay, so the men in my family are not, oh my goodness. <laughs> Hold on just a second. Hey baby, I, I love you, we just can't do this right now. The men in my family are not, they're not the type of men that are gonna carry like a bag or they're not gonna get excited really over, um, like even if they do wear a tie, that's probably not what they want for Christmas. So I'm really gonna focus on, you know, the type of men that don't really want anything they really need for Christmas because I think men are just like big little boys. They like to sleep, eat, and play. And I think some of them really like to work, but I think that's almost in play a little bit. That's how, you know, I think of it. Okay, with that said, I am gonna tell you a few clothing items that John and my family enjoy, clothes and shoes that these are things that even if they're not maybe just so excited to get when they get them, I think that they will enjoy them and will end up being one of their best, you know, best things that they got. Um, men's designer jeans. Boy, there are so many different ones. John and I have just, I have gone back and forth, back and forth getting him jeans at Oliver. And if they don't fit him just right, he will send them back. And his favorite jeans are citizens of humanity the sid and they are i've got my I've got my list here they are a really soft like when you put them on they're not they're almost like you've already been wearing them and they wash well they haven't torn up or anything and they are straight so they're not going to be like a skinny but they're not going to be a full and he wears a 34, so he's very, you know, average, trim kind of guy, and he loves those. So that is definitely something that I would recommend if you want to get somebody a nice pair of jeans. Asking my brother, who works at a job that he is on his feet a lot, and he has gone through so many shoes. He's on his feet, but he also has to look good and look kind of dressed up. And he said that his favorite shoes that he has are his Cole Haan sneakers so they look they're Cole Haan so they're nice looking but they're kind of like a dress sneaker he said that those are more comfortable than any tennis shoe or any you know um, Clarks or anything like that he's ever tried so I actually um, I didn't take a picture of those but I did take a screenshot of the ones that he was talking about I made sure I got the exact ones so I will link those down below let me cross those off and then another thing that he said that he really liked, and when he told me this, I thought, oh my gosh, I'd never heard of such a thing, but a front pocket wallet. And he pulled it out, and I'll put the picture up here because I thought it was so cool looking. And he said the reason that his wife, my sister-in-law, got it for him is because he always, he didn't like to have his wallet in his back pocket, which I know that's John's wallet wears like a little place in his pocket, you know. I know a lot of men don't like to do that because it's uncomfortable and you're scared maybe of getting it stolen or whatever. So he was doing the thing like my dad does where you just have your money and your cards and then you put, he said he was putting a hair, one of my sister-in-law's hair ties around it. And my dad does the rubber bands, old school. 
but the front pocket wallet is, there's either the one styled like he has where it's shaped just to go in that front pocket, and I'm gonna link a lot more like on Amazon that are just slimmer. They're just made so that they're not like this great big wallet to put in the front pocket, and I think that is a neat idea, and I think even if they didn't like it, I think it's a really cool gift and like a conversation starter. I know when, it's not as much now because my family's gotten smaller as time's gone on and your grandparents have passed away and stuff, but I remember the days that it was just, I mean, 20 people in a circle and we were taking turns opening gifts and it was fun to have something like that to pass around and look at. Um, also, money clips. I think all men like money clips. There's just something cool about them. When I was thinking of clothing, I was thinking of, you know, I know everybody's style is different, but I think that one brand that just kind of encompasses every man's style is Columbia. I know John wears some Columbia things, my dad, my brother, and Will, and they are all very different. A good Columbia jacket or a Columbia long sleeve t-shirt, I love the look. I don't know why I like this so much, but I love the look of like a long sleeve t-shirt uh, maybe a white one with khaki shorts. There's just something about that. I love that look with tennis shoes. And so Columbia t-shirts, Columbia jackets. I think if you have, I know there's been a lot of times where I've had a niece or nephew, you know, their boyfriend or their new husband is coming in. I have like no idea what to get them. That would be something good. I think if you chose something from Columbia, a t-shirt or something, I think it would um, encompass every type of guy and you could even get like a little lightweight jacket um, maybe a black one or a blue one or a khaki one and that would kind of encompass every style too I think um, I've got actually I've got so many lists going where I started this thinking I was gonna do it um, I think last weekend I had planned on doing it and it just didn't happen okay here it goes okay um, furry Crocs and I know there's, you know, Crocs are kind of controversial because they're so ugly, but it's kind of like Uggs. They're ugly, but everybody knows that, but they're so practical. And Will and John love their furry Crocs, not to wear out, which Will wear, will wear, <laughs> which Will wear, <laughs> Will does wear them out. That was such, I was trying to say Will, will wear them out and I could not get it out. Will does, but John doesn't. But John likes them like when he is just going outside to get the mail, going to take the trash out. Maybe he's even just going outside to use the blower and blow off the porches or something because you can put those on with your socks on or you can, if you don't have any socks on, you can just throw those on and they're warm and they're you know waterproof. They're just good to throw on. So I like the furry croc idea. Next thing we're gonna get into is men love toys. And their toys are gonna be stuff like this. John's boss sends us a really cool gift every year, and this is what he sent us this year, and I just think it's so cool. It is the um, Nebula. So it's a capsule, we haven't even opened it yet, we just got it, and it is the most advanced pocket camera. And what it is, is it's got, um, it says you can run streaming and media apps smoothly and it's like a home theater. So it's um, remarkable picture, incredible 360 sound. Men love like good sound. Um, extended play time, run the latest apps, total connectivity. And they, it's like a projector. So they can actually um, play something like on the wall. Where did it say that? It said that somewhere. Um, I cannot find on here where it says that, but it's, um, you know, it goes with all of their apps. It says download the capsule control app. So anyway, this is gonna be just a fun little toy, I think, for John and the kids to play with. Brooke actually took, last year he sent us the um, Sonos, Sonos, Sonos or Sonos little um, speaker thing. That has been good. So anything like that, I think that they will like. And then, oh, if I could tell you one gift that I think every man would love is the earbuds, the Apple earbuds. Now, I know that they've come out with some really new, expensive ones. John has the ones from last year that are like, we just bought a few more pair for gifts. I think they're like um, $149. He loves those. He likes them because he has it hooked up, somehow he has it hooked up to his phone. And I don't know if he leaves his phone 
in his gym bag or how that works. I don't know how much the distance is with the Bluetooth, but he wears his in the gym for his own music and then he can also answer the phone while he's in the gym and he loves them. And then I take them when I travel, so we're gonna get our own pair soon. But earbuds, that's something I never would have thought would have been that great, but he loves those. Portable phone charger. What made me think of this is last time I was in the airport, it was late. It was in this little dinky end of the airport. It was my flight home and it was late and none of the little, I had like a phone charger, but none of the outlets would work. I don't know if they were all wore out or whatever, but this guy beside me had a portable phone charger. And it just struck me because, you know, I was like, thank you. I was so you know thankful that he, cause I was completely out of charge. And he said, yeah, that's great. He said, I use it all the time. So I was just thinking a lot of men might like having that portable phone charger or battery pack to have, you know, if they travel or just to have with them. I was telling John this morning that I was doing this video and he had several suggestions. One is um, he wants this from my parents. I just sent them the picture, but it's called a golf buddy. I have no idea what it is, but I'm gonna put the link and I'll put the picture up here, but it's something that he wanted for golf. Um, expensive golf balls, like if you know, usually really good golfers have a certain type of ball that they like. That's what they like to use. And most of the time it's expensive. So if you're, you know, just looking for a little add-in, a set of golf balls would be good. Okay, I've got down here, this is my favorite. One of my favorite gifts is sunglasses. And don't think because they have one pair of sunglasses that that's all they need, <laughs> of course. But um, my dad and John both, I've given them several pair of sunglasses and there's different ones for not only different looks, but like my dad has one pair he likes to drive in. Then he has another pair that I actually, I just replaced the lenses, they're Maui Gym and um, the lenses had gotten kind of, just they were old, so they had gotten kind of messed up. All I had to do was send them in, pay for the replacement lenses, which I think was just like $75, and they sent them right back. It was so quick. So um, I think Maui Gym, like any of their styles, I think are fantastic. I really like the Maui Gym Aviators. Then you have Ray-Ban, of course, and I am going to go today, I'm friends with the girls at Sunglass Hut, so down below, I am going to list the top three selling men's sunglasses for you. And um, matter of fact, let me write that down. I know I won't forget, but I've got to go see Brooke, and um, I don't want to get, and I've got to check out Will early from school for a doctor appointment. So um, anyway, I will find the top three selling pair. And then I love Costa, Costa Del Mar. That is another good, you know, sporty, but then it, they still look good when they're dressed up. I don't know, I just like it. I think a man's extra handsome when they have sunglasses on. Another thing that I mentioned last year, but my dad and John, John had me take pictures this morning, so I'll put them in here, are their blower, the battery pack blower, that real light one, you guys heard him using it in the garage the other day. And John said to make sure you get an extra battery pack. And my mom said that not only, which John has the weed eater, I think I took a picture of it, he loves it. And my mom said they have the, the edger. And she said, you know, you wouldn't think that it would have enough power to really edge, but it does. And I just think men like stuff like that. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like a toy and they like, I know with weed eaters, I think it's fun for them just to do so much destruction so easy, you know, it's just fun. So those battery pack things, and I will link below the exact ones that I am talking about because John and my dad both love those and they are not people that just love working in the yard, but it's just easy and you get your stuff done fast. Okay, then another thing that I think men really value is their sleep. Their sleep and their just relaxation time. So I think anything you can get to kind of enhance that, even if they aren't that thrilled in the beginning, I think that every man would love a good blanket. And I, you guys know how I feel about the Barefoot Dreams blankets. I know that they are a little bit um, pricey, but I think they're worth it. I love the fact that it's, there's just something good about the fact that it has that weight to it, 
but yet it's you don't feel like it's so heavy that it's I don't know they're just they're just neat I don't know what it is about them and I love the fact that I can wash it and dry it and it still looks good so I think that that would be a good thing if they're like all the men in my family and they like to sit and watch TV another thing is a pillow John and my dad are always on the eternal search for a good pillow but I asked John this morning out of all the pillows that we've gotten what are the ones that he is like the most the my pillow the Casper pillow, I'm telling you, we've tried a lot of pillows. The My Pillow, the Casper pillow, and the Bowl and Branch pillows. I love the Bowl and Branch pillow. That one is the neatest. It's just like firm, but yet it still condenses down. It's really cool. So pillows, a fancy pillow would be something. And one more thing I forgot with the clothes. My um, brother and my dad are both big and tall, big guys, and socks socks that are actually made for bigger feet you know i think 14 or 15 i showed you guys my dad's shoe that day and he loves that he is now buying the socks that are for big guys so i will get the exact brand and link that down below but that would be something i think is great because any guy that is big and tall they you know like their stuff to fit right they don't want it to this especially a sock being too short would be very uncomfortable so i think i oh nope i got two more bridget's distracted me because she's crying hold on okay okay bridget's gonna sit with me for the remainder of this video if she can handle it um and then the two other two things that I have, and it kind of goes along with um, men and their toys, flashlights. And then my mom and dad told me the exact one that they think is the best because my dad, that's one of his things that he likes. But I think all men like flashlights. And I know John keeps one beside his bed on his nightstand and you know, by his desk because you end up needing one all the time just, you know, for him to, he's always like working on his computer and stuff and needs to see a number or when the power goes out or just whatever. I think a good flashlight is good to have and I think it's good to have one in your car too. And then the last thing is a pocket knife. Now I'm not talking about like a big switch blade or whatever, but I do think that a good pocket knife is something that a lot of men, I know old school, but I think every man would love that. And I used to have one of those little women's little Swiss army knives. And then I had another one that my nephew had given me. I always enjoyed those. My Swiss army knife ended up basically falling apart because I had used it for so long. And then that other little tool thing I had, it had scissors on it. A nail file it's one of those that had a bunch of stuff i had to give it um to the air flight or the security when i went through flying one day because evidently it was i wasn't supposed to have it you okay are you okay hmm? pretty girl okay bridget wants to get down now she's feeling so much better yes she is <laughs> and now i'm gonna have those little short bridget hairs all over me so let me make sure let me read my list here real quick and make sure that i have gotten everything and i'm going to do all my homework with all of my stuff for you and have it listed down below and for a quick easy outfit today i've just got on those leggings that i showed you guys a while ago from h m i love leggings with stripes on them and i love wearing those with boots today i've got a lot of running around to do so i wanted to make sure i had some comfy clothes on and it's actually cold it was 75 yesterday and i think today the high is is it in the 40s 40s or maybe 50 but it's really cold outside for us so i've just grabbed my most comfy moto jacket i've got this big sweater on from actually it's from walmart it's the scoop and I'm wearing my comfortable, comfortable Tory Burch boots. So this is gonna be my outfit for the day. And I am really thinking, I'm probably only gonna need that sweater because if you're like me, I get hot when I'm running in and out of places. So this is my outfit. And then for accessories, I kept everything pretty simple today. Um, I just wanted to put on some studs, so I have on my big, I cannot remember if these are, I think these are, can't remember if they're Betsy Johnson or K 
Kate Spade, but they're one of those, but they are the best studs because they're so big, but they still lay, you know, pretty on my ear. See how they don't like turn down too bad or anything? I love them. They just, and I, I just love how simple, but yet glam they are. And I don't like my nail polish. Painted them this morning and it's tiramisu for two, which was one of my favorites when I had long, like artificial nails but I don't like it on the short nails, but it was too late to take it off and change it this morning. Bridget has the can't help it, so I'm not sure. I think once I turn the TV on for her and kind of get chilled, she'll be okay. And um, a ring that my parents gave me that was just like handmade. And you guys, I have to tell, I can't wait to tell you about this until Friday. My friend Denise, she heard me talking about this and she wanted to try it too. So she ordered this Baccarat 540 Mason. It's that fragrance I was telling you about that someone had told me that the Ariana Grande Cloud perfume smelled like. So she ordered this, which is three of these bottles and she sent me one. It is beautiful. I see what people are talking about. I can see how people say that the cloud smells like it, but this is much, um, it's, I don't know, it's much prettier. It's just prettier. It's a much more sophisticated. I love it. The first spray I did, um, oh my goodness, it's not too strong. I, the reason I had not ordered it is because I was just thinking, well, maybe it was just going to be too strong. And I already have some that I really like that I, you know, ha have to wear just only when I really feel like it, you know. This one is just not like that. It is beautiful. I can't even describe it. I'm going to have to look at the notes because it's given me a little bit of that, just like that Velvet Haze from Barreto. It's a little bit of that where it has like a little bit of a fruitiness to it, but yet it still is deep. It's just got a lot of different things going on and it's beautiful. So thank you, Denise, for sending that to me. I see a big bottle in my future, but I tell you, I really like this. I mean, I think everybody would like one sitting on their dresser, you know, to put on real quick, but these travel sprays are nice. I mean, that is a big, a big one. So anyway, I just couldn't wait to tell you. I hope you guys have a good Wednesday. Happy hump day. And I will probably, if I don't see you tomorrow, I'll see you on Friday. Bye-bye.